everyone. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm going to show you how to make um, a cat and bird uh, like German Swiss artist Paul Clay. He did cat and bird in 1928. If you saw my other video about the story of Paul Clay, um, you will see one of his famous paintings that looks a lot like this one. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I think it will be fun. I, I hope you could join me for a few minutes to make one. So I got a half sheet of paper. Um, you can use a pencil or a Sharpie. Might be a good idea to use the pencil first. Um, when you're done drawing it, I used these. These are my favorite oil pastels right now. I love them. It's a really nice little case. you would enjoy these nice thing to ask for for Christmas another thing that would work really well are crayons any kind of crayons that you might have or even watercolors I've seen students from other schools online do the same lesson using paint so anything that you want to use is good okay um, the first thing you're going to do is turn your paper horizontally like that and then step one is draw a line um, going around the perimeter or the edges of your paper to kind of make a border just go slow so it looks nice and then when you're done stop right there okay um, the next step is the, the head the head takes up all the space so you're gonna to wanna to start over here and end up over here, okay? So I'm gonna start right here, go down, across. In the middle, I'm gonna go up a little bit, then back down, curve it, and go back up again. <laughs> Mine's a little wobbly, but that's okay. Okay, so then um, the next step <laughs> that's really uneven. Okay, the next, that's okay if it's uneven. It doesn't matter. I don't think Paul Clay's is perfect either. Okay, so then you're going to put a dot right there, right in the middle, okay? And then you're going to draw a curved line going across to the side. Maybe put a little dot there. And then another curved line on the bottom. For that eye, this is gonna be the big eyes. And let's put a dot over here first before we do the other one. And we'll put curve line and another curve line. Okay, it's really cool looking so far. I love abstract art. Okay, so then from this dot, we're gonna go up here and go a little bit higher. And also from this dot, we're gonna go up here to make the ears. Okay, the next step is um, the nose. So we're gonna make a curve line from this dot to this point. Curve line, curve line. And the heart goes inside. So that's the bottom of the heart, and then this will be the top of the heart right here, okay? And then the eyes, I'm gonna put a dot here and a dot here, and a curve line here. Same thing for the other side, dot here, dot here, curve line. Okay, there, and then we need the whiskers. Oh, the chin, chin, um, the whiskers on Paul Clay's, I was noticing on his, that his whiskers curve like that. You can make them straight, you can make them curved, however you would like. But they not I noticed they were coming out of the heart. So I, I'm gonna put three on that side, you can do it however you would like. And three on that side. And 
Okay, and then the neck. And then the bird, because his heart's desire is the bird. So he's thinking about the bird and the bird is on his head. So the way that I saw Paul Clay do it is he went across. Curve line for the head. Then continue that curve line for the body. And then the tail. And then he also had a leg in there and an eyeball. Okay, so let me put the vibe a little bit higher. Okay, so then um, I think I included everything and now you're ready to color it. So the way I colored mine is I looked at Paul Clay's um, picture from the other video and kind of did the same kind of coloring that he did. You can do any kind of coloring you want to. You're the artist, you decide. I really enjoyed blending colors together. I used a lot of white. I used rust color and or yellow orange. I used white with teal. That's how I did the eyes. This is white oil pastel. Can't tell, but it's white oil pastel. And then teal with some black for the pupil. So I was trying to get mine to look like a lot like Paul Clay's. But you can make yours however you would like. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm so happy that you came to see this today. And I hope you try it. Okay, bye guys. I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving with your families.